Um, I'm sorry but, to cut you off, Evan. I had a couple more. I, I thought I was done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> like, Yo, so, Evan, what else did you have to say? Oh, by the way, I looked at my phone. I looked at my phone, and like there was like three more, <laughs> and I was like, oh. But they were like big ones. They were ones I actually wanted to talk about. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone, to episode 30 of Squad Pod. 30, How are you guys doing tonight? 30, 30. Good, man. How are you? I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. And Alex awesome. is hydrating. Alex is good. Alex is, Alex is here early tonight. Oh, I've actually water. just opened it up on a good note. I have taken a two-week cleanse from alcohol, so it's been water for me. I'm almost done. I got like <laughs> four more days left or something. Just till I film this weekend. Then, then, then you're we'll back see. to... <laughs> back to your old ways That's Man, good though. Sh- sh- I, i'm just soon. getting fat dude Man, I, and i already <laughs> talked about this but i seriously i took a picture of myself and oh, i look do that. pregnant dude. i look pregnant <laughs> like on from a side angle dude i look like someone's about to bust what out of my doing? belly i have this big old dad beer belly like everything else is skinny <laughs> just this big old dad beer belly I look gross that much beer. Beer. Uh, so <laughs> i can so relate I took, I get it. Took a two week cleanse. I'm gonna drink beer for only the show now, which is gonna be super hard for me. Um, but I'm gonna try to do it like just for the show. I'm gonna try to keep no more beer in the house, and uh, we'll go from there. That's, That's good plan. Good plan. That's ambitious. <sighs> Didn't you go like four months on a bet? Oh yeah, I went like I don't think I have an alcohol problem. I just like no, to drink. but <laughs> it's more yeah. of a health thing for now. It but yeah, like, I went. It was a bet with Tyler, was it? wasn't it? No, it was a bet with a guy at my job. Oh, uh, Okay. I thought you said. Um, what was no, that bet? I bet, no, it was about the guy on my job. It was like it was like five and a half months. <laughs> I went without drinking. It was like he like bet me sometime in November, December that I couldn't not drink till my birthday. And I was like, I can absolutely not drink <laughs> till my birthday. <laughs> and then I, I didn't drink till my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy story, huh? Well, okay. well actually, <laughs> the, the funny end of it is my birthday fell on like a Tuesday. And we were going out the, my kids were, I didn't have my kids the weekend, the weekend before my birthday. So I was like, man, I made it like, it's like (laughs) two days from now. And he's like, nope, I won't do it, man. So I was like, all right, how about this? I was like, cause what we bet was a hundred out. We were going to buy Buffalo wild wings, whoever lost for the, for the rest of the people at work. And I was like, I'll split it with you. (laughs) And he was like, all right. So I I drank the weekend, lost the bet and I had to split Buffalo wild wings for the group. (laughs) Like three days, I couldn't make it because I wanted to drink for my birthday. But like, in your no, head, you made it. You made it. Yeah, I made it. it yeah, you knew you made it. Like, yeah, yeah, I could. It's, it's, it's the principle <laughs> that matters. It was just like I only like I have my don't have my kids every other weekend, yeah. so it had to be two more weeks since I was going to go go out again. So I was like, no, I'm going out. Going it, out. It was the logistics them. of it. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Just how it how it fell. So, all right, but. Lead it in. I'm sorry I interrupted. No, not interrupting. That's great. That's great news. Water's good. Water. I wish I drank water. Water's good. You know what? I'm drinking Freaky water right news. now, too. Cheers for water. <laughs> I got a monster. <laughs> oh. I got a tea. Bro, it is 1030 at night. What is wrong with you? I got to stay He up. drinks coffee this time of night, too. Oh He's just God. all out at bed. I need that. Uh, it's like, you go to sleep, Jack. I, don't, I won't drink the whole thing. I won't he doesn't that. sleep. <laughs> He just, he just lays oh, there. Work, gotta go to work, gotta go to work, gotta go to work. I will probably only get like, well, I mean, I don't know. I might get everything done early tonight. But, eh, man, we'll even even on nights where I play squad pod, like last squad pod, we were up to, I was up to what? 1 2 in the morning almost. Because yeah. I stayed on with you guys for a while. While. And like, I still didn't drink no energy drink in the middle of the night. Well, I didn't drink that <laughs> night either. I was also sick. So, that's yeah, wouldn't. Why didn't you save it for tomorrow morning? Like, wouldn't you rather have energy tomorrow morning? I'm not gonna drink a Who monster cared? at eight o'clock in the morning. That's when I drink coffee. What? What do you drink a monster at ten thirty? No, the because that's not a that's not a breakfast food. Coffee's oh for my breakfast. God. It's not Bro, a nighttime it's not, food. It's not either. a midnight <laughs> snack. I can like, kind of understand because, like, I don't. I can I never don't. drink soda. Yeah, in the I wouldn't drink soda. It always had its weird taste to be in the morning. Like, I just could never mm-hmm. drink soda in the morning at all. Yeah, I'm not gonna drink water. a Mountain Dew right when I wake up. Same reason it's, I'm not yeah, gonna drink a monster. But, yeah, but that's 
Uh, it's too much caffeine, man. It's just about I feel the like caffeine. An energy drink is more meant for the morning than a soda. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll do kickstarts. No, I don't know. Those are specifically for energy. Uh, energy drink is literally like wake you up and fucking get you going. <laughs> that's, that's what coffee that's does. I, yeah, that's coffee. But see, I wind up. I'm, I'm a wind up kind old. of person. You guys are get up and go. Energy I'm like, a, I got to sit at the edge of my bed Time's for a little bit now, before I get up. Man. Oh, for real? No, I, I hop up and go no, to work. No, I'm not bro. really. I don't sit at the edge of my bed. <laughs> I've actually my New Year's resolution. I might have said this is that I'm trying to be on time for work. Like I'm not trying to be late at all. So I'm actually becoming that person too, where I'm I'm waking up and I like I have time to kill in the morning. I hate it, Evan. I actually <laughs> I love it. Like, I could be sleeping this time, dude. I do though. I start my car. I I get all my shit ready. I get dressed and I put my shoes at the edge of the couch and I fall asleep for ten minutes and like <laughs> while your car is running. Oh yeah, well I'm warming it up, man. It's fine. I'm just like letting it warm up. Ten more minutes. I set my alarm and I'm just like passed out (laughs) on the couch. couch. (laughs) I don't go back upstairs in my bed. I sleep on the couch. Just like ten more. Why don't you just sleep in an extra ten minutes? Because then I'm late, man. Because if I sleep (laughs) in an extra ten minutes, like the mornings don't work out like where I like something will happen. Whereas if I'm ready and all I have to do is throw my shoes on and get the hell out the door. Then it's okay, you know, because sometimes it's not always 10 minutes, sometimes it's seven minutes, sometimes it's sometimes I barely have any time at all, you know, so it, it really depends on how the morning shakes out. I yeah. cannot just go to sleep. I just sit on my phone or something. No, I don't even look. I set my alarm. I don't even turn the brightness up until after I sit in my car because I it's too bright. Like I'm just like it's tired. too bright in the morning. I'm yeah. the same way. It's way too but, bright in the morning. I'm like sitting like on my couch. It's still dark down in my living room. I set my alarm, put it down, and I just. Pass back out, man, for 10 minutes. Oh, my God. I still, every time I hear about this, gross, I still don't know man. how you do it. Mornings are gross, dude. And Mornings when I got gross. my job. Hmm, I wish it like... would just be daytime, nighttime. <laughs> nighttime. I don't want no morning. You can no cut morning. that out. Just have it just be bright as shit, night. night. <laughs> <laughs> <Man>. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine with both. Fuck the morning. I, I, just, I could I have it be morning things. all day. Ugh. Oh, you're oh, wild. You're the only time I like the morning well, is yeah, like when I'm psychopath. camping. Well, yeah. That's the only time I yeah, like something camping. Something like maybe that's camping. why. I, yeah. Maybe that's why. Or like I like a road it. trip. <laughs> but like. Other than that, fuck on that. Vacation or something. Yeah. Yeah. On vacation. But yeah, any other time I just like. Ugh, the ugh. Smell in the air just makes me sick. <laughs> It's it's grounds fresh. wet, even though it didn't rain. It's bullshit. Yeah. yeah, I'm like, this doesn't make sense. It's bullshit. Even the earth <laughs> it didn't was even, crying. It didn't even rain. What the fuck? Even the earth got to get up. It's like, damn it. Yeah. God damn it. Damn it. I don't want to go. They're just going to pollute me more. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. <laughs> it's true, though. Dude. No man, I I hate I hate the morning. I uh like I said when I first got the position I've had, and I've had my position for three years almost. Mm. When I got it, they were like, "You're gonna become a morning person. Don't worry." <laughs> nope. Three well, years everybody later, everybody says that they still hate that shit. Three three never do. Later. Never. Never. And my schedule, I have had the same schedule for three years: oh. seven in the morning till six at night, and ev- and I never have gotten used to it. I still hate the mornings. I still made miserable getting up. Hate it, hate it, hate it. But when I used to work at like Ray Hall, I would start work at seven. Now I start work at eight. And even though I get like an extra like (laughs) hour of sleep, doesn't feel any different. No, it doesn't at all. I'd get up and I'm still tired as shit. (laughs) And I hate it. I hate it. It doesn't matter at all. I was like, oh, an extra hour or so, that'd be nice. I will say, it doesn't matter. For like the last five years, I was walking to work. So if I had to be at work at eight, I could be up at seven, still have time to goof around in the morning, and I could leave my house at seven fifty-five, and I'd be at work. See, I, now no I have to get up at like in the morning, six o'clock bro. There's or no goof six thirty. See, See Evan, at work if eight or eight thirty, if I was a five-minute walk to my job, I would wait <laughs> two minutes and then drive to my job <laughs> so I could get that extra three minutes. <laughs> so Alex literally just hop in, drive around the corner, park it. <laughs> <laughs> Take me so much less time. The only times I drove to work are when I had to leave work to go somewhere, oh, and even gosh. then, most of the time I would just walk home and get in my car. <laughs> Not even buy a skateboard, bike. Alex. You just drive it. <laughs> Not even. He's like, like I'm driving. The only I'm driving to work. All I'm you need my is car just up on the skateboard, quick. and you're there. <laughs> He's gonna warm his car warm up too. Car up and yeah, I, have I have skateboarded. Gonna go out. I have skateboarded to work. Sleep on the couch. <laughs> drive three around the block. 
even the days uh. like I would have to take the kids to daycare. I would take them to daycare and then I would just go home and park and then walk to work <laughs> because I didn't want to have to deal with my car on my lunch break and on the way home. I just wanted to walk home to work. Or walk home nope. from work. <laughs> you could still walk home, and on lunch, I got plenty yeah. of energy. I'll walk but home. I'd have to go out. Like I'd have to park in this like little tiny alley. It would take me like five minutes just to navigate the alley, wait for the traffic, go across. How the long street. of a lunch did you get? Just a half hour. Half an hour. Yeah. Oh man, I would fight for that hour and then sleep at lunch too. I'd go home and sleep <laughs> twice. There was one time I actually I. It was shortly after we moved in here. I fell asleep. At, I did it on purpose. I set an alarm for like 10 minutes. I never yeah, did that. Man. But oh, no, I was, I it's only been like work. twice I ever did that in five years. Bro, I, I remember slept at work or slept. Back in the lunch. wash, they would have stories of like Tony going on break because he would go home on break and he would just go to sleep, bro. He would pass out and he just you wouldn't scary. see him the rest of the day, bro. Oh, uh, see, I come back. Or else I, and then some days he would come in like hours later, like, yeah, but I fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> I have an I have an hour lunch at work and I go get my food or my pack and I go like Deloitte is completely abandoned because everybody's working from home now. So it's just this empty ass parking lot and I just park in this parking lot, <laughs> pull my seat back. I'll watch usually like one YouTube video and eat, and then I pass out for the rest of the 30 <laughs> minutes. I set an alarm, and I lay down. I pulled into Sheets this morning, and I parked like in a fairly populated area, and I got out, and I saw I didn't see anyone in the car, and then I saw it was running, and then I look over, and this dude is just like seat back, car running, yeah. just passed out, and it's like 8 o'clock in the morning. He was tired. He, he, he got gas and then he was like, yo, I got 10 more minutes for work. Like, exactly. I'm, That's just, what happened. I'm about to go to sleep real quick. It was like in the first or second parking spot, too. So it's like, no shame. No oh shame, gosh. man. No shame. Yeah. I usually only did that like if I wasasn't feeling great during mm-hmm. the day on lunch. I, that's when I would like take a nap. When I'm siesta. up, I'm up. I don't nap. I call him a siesta. Other than that, I'm just chilling, watching something. Yeah. I did. You spoke of sheets. It it reminded me. I did the laziest shit today, dude. (laughs) I went and I got gas and like I got out and it was cold as shit, dude. I I filled it for like 20 bucks. My I have a huge tank. It takes Mm -hmm. like $60. I'm like, man, it's fucking cold out. And I put the thing back. (laughs) I didn't even fill my tank. I just like put the thing back and ran back in my car. Dad, it's cold. Dude, I I have never been in a gas pump like that. It wasn't even that cold today. (laughs) Oh no, man! It was cold. It was like was 32 standing, degrees. The wind, the wind it was too cold for Alex. Today. Freezing, man. We, but it's it's January. It's it's been like 15 degrees, <laughs> bro. It was yeah, cold. Man. I wasn't we digging lucky. it. We haven't been getting like yeah, yeah plumbing of snow recently. I don't. Unless... I work inside at a nice desk, so I don't like plan for the weather, man. Oh, I don't either. <laughs> Showing like... up, I'm like I'm sitting in my like short sleeve shirt and shit. So then when I go out to my car, I'm still in my short sleeve shirt and shit. You don't bring a coat, a jacket, a sweatshirt. (laughs) I have a winter coat that I leave at work for when it snows, when I have to go do snow removal. But other than that, not. I mean, usually a sweatshirt or something. Yeah, it's still cold, Evan. Thirty-two degrees is freezing. Yeah, but like literally, I know it's literally freezing. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, we got super sidetracked. What's your What's your thing, Evan? Okay, so it's. (laughs) Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Welcome. Uh, Welcome. Good morning. It's such a general question, but I just I kind of just want to know what is in your guys's head. So what are you guys into right now? Like what what is going on in your life that it could be something super minuscule or something super big? But what's something that's like occupying like the the kind of part of your brain where you got a minute to think something you're excited about something you're into is it like a song a movie something that you've just been thinking about lately mine's right. type of movies okay and i actually just watched one today i'm really into noir films right now like old oh, nice. 40s okay. and 50 noir films and i just watched one and i got onto it because two days ago i watched the always sunny episode where they do the noir for the first yeah. time i've never seen it and I was like, man, this was pretty good. Like, even the writing in it, for being a comedy, like, yeah. I was like, this is some pretty good noir writing. My favorite line, and have you guys seen it? I know yeah, why. Yeah, I haven't. I want to, but I haven't. You don't You don't really watch Always Sunny, right? I want to watch it. I just yeah. haven't. Yeah, yeah, you'll get there. But there's a great scene where, like, he's, he's playing a detective, and, and she walks in, like, the girl walks in, and he's like, are you going to shoot me? And she's like, what if I miss? And he's like... 
then he'd have to say, you miss me. And like, it's like a banter. And I was like, man, what a great noir line, you know, like great dialogue. So now I'm just like super into noir. That movies. got you hooked into it. I think, and listen, I love modern movies. I'm not hating on them at all, but like there is a lost art of dialogue. Like they don't write dialogue like it used to. And that's why Quentin Tarantino is still so popular because he writes just super, super good dialogue. And noir yeah. films, I love noir film dialogue. I like that monologuing person. It's always like <laughs> mm-hmm. dark and depressing. It's always like super black and white, like exaggerated black and white, not just mm-hmm. black and white, but like super dark blacks and super white whites. I don't know. I'm into it right now. I just watched Sunset Boulevard for the first time. I've never seen it. It was, it was I very seen good. That one. I you can't say I've I've seen too many noir movies that I know of. Probably some more like popular ones, but like yeah. I, I can't say I've really dove into them. Sunset Boulevard, you'll probably you'd probably know the references. Um, I'm trying to think of the most popular one. The most popular one, if I know you guys all watch American Dad, you know the episode mm-hmm. where Steve's laying in the pool and he's all shot up and like he starts telling a story. Mm-hmm. I don't know, if you know. Like that's a direct reference to the movie and the and okay. the line. I'm ready for my close up, Mister Duvall. That's a line straight from the movie, too, okay. which is like a very famous line people say. Gosh, so, yeah. I, I'm I'm getting into it, man. I'm really liking these noir films, but that's what I'm. I saying. know how it is, man. Like I've had those moments like I've had a, like a Western movie, like yeah. an outlaw movies, like phase and like a Kung Fu phase. We're watching like <laughs> Bruce Lee movies and shit, dude. Like I it's I find something. And I'm like, I want to dive into this mm-hmm. a little bit. Get in. Find out, I get in you know, rabbit like, history. Holes. Yeah, me yeah, too, man. Exactly. I get into like I one mean, interest, and like mm-hmm. that's where I'm going. M- mainly yeah, it's YouTube something videos, else. but yeah, it's I'll, I'll yeah. get into one thing, and it's like that's all my suggestions are. And then one day I'll find something else, and I'm like, oh, this looks interesting. And then that's all I end up watching for like <laughs> two <laughs> weeks, maybe. And we've all done that, yeah. And then Gordon Ramsay pops back up, and then I watch that for like another week. Uh, then I gotta go back to Gordon. Yeah, it's comfy. <laughs> Oh, I, I love that um, Nightmare Kitchen. That's oh, a great show. And Kitchen Nightmare. Not Kitchen Nightmare. Nightmares. Yeah, it's Kitchen Nightmares. Kitchen They're nightmares. all the same. It's Gordon yeah. Ramsay calling people donkeys and donuts and telling them how bad they are. <laughs> donkey. Stupid. You <laughs> donkey. What are you? The idiot sandwich? <laughs> <laughs> puts the sandwich bread right on her face. <laughs> How Bro, demeaning. every time I think of that, I always think of the meme from Game of Thrones where it was like Jon Snow. And he's like, what are you? And it's like Jon Snow, you like an idiot sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like that's one of the first times I saw that meme. It was like a Game of Thrones meme. It's uh, what missed out on a lot of the early ones. No, but I got a weird one that I'm into. It's super... Mm-hmm. It's super off the wall, but it's something, I don't know. I've been vibing okay. with it lately. So um, when I'm doing my homework and stuff, I noticed, like, I can't, Brittany will have the TV on. I can't listen to it. I can't hear it because even if it's something I'm not even interested into, I got to have, I got to drown it out. Like, she's she's into Gilmore Girls right now. And it's a good show. Like, it's not bad. It's not something mm-hmm. I would sit down and watch. But, like as she's watching it like i then i start to pick up on characters and then now i get interested and it's like no i gotta do stuff <laughs> so What's bridget up to that bridget yeah <laughs> that bridget he's never even seen this woman yeah <laughs> it's not it's not a bad show anyway but <laughs> um so even like music sometimes can be distracting to me so what i've for some reason i don't know why i clicked on it but I clicked on it is a Pokemon lo-fi music. Like a Dude, lo-fi music. Lo-fi music. That's yeah. my thing right now. Love lo-fi yeah. music. I don't, I don't know relaxed. where it came from, but it's something very specifically. It's the, it's from the Johto games like Heart Gold, Soul Silver. That's very specific. It's so specific. Yeah. <laughs> so specific. But dude, it's so comforting and nostalgic at the same time. Like when I hear it, it just makes me happy. So like now when I'm like kind of stressed or if, you know, when I'm doing my homework or like when I'm putting Gracie to sleep, I just throw that on and I just kind of, I just kind of chill with it. It's a vibe. It's chill. So now, but now I'm also starting to expand into other lo-fi music. So, I mean, it's all kind of the same, but it's different. It's all the same. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, there's so many like playlists that are out there that are like live Mm -hmm. where it's just like a ton of them, like just loop together, Mm -hmm. you know? 
No, but I would I would recommend listening to the uh, the Johto Lo-Fi. <laughs> I might. It's yeah, good. it's might. great. Check I'll that link out, to man. Guys. Yeah. Dude, I listened to um that whole from under the cork tree lullaby fucking album that I shared <laughs> with you guys. Like just out of pure <laughs> curiosity, I listened to that whole fucking thing. Dude, I so. love there was this um there was this playlist on Spotify. It's lullaby music, but it's like of modern music. And it has like there's a rock playlist, pop, and it's just nice because like when the kids were babies, we you'd want something kind of soft on, but I could still jam to it. <laughs> so yeah. I love it. Yeah. That. <laughs> So yeah, Something I can I can dig to some music box sound. Yeah, man, it's <laughs> fine. I know the yeah. words. Exactly. <laughs> but yeah, that's my thing. I don't know why, but that's what I'm into. <laughs> Alex is into Nor films. I'm into you are fucking films. Pokemon. What are you Lo-Fi. into, Burn? Uh, I've just been watching a lot of YouTube, like usual. I don't really, I don't really watch much like TV as far as shows and anything or movies or anything like that. Oh. The only show that I go out of my way to watch right now is WandaVision, and I know none of you really care about I've it right now. So that's I, I, I super care about it. it. I'm just I, waiting for more to come out before I get <laughs> yeah, into it. Yeah, that's what I say. I watch it every yeah. week whenever. So I'm not going to sit here and talk to you guys about it if you know, sure. didn't see it. You know what I mean? So that's pretty much it as far as like shows. But I watch a ton of YouTube. Like, a ton of YouTube. A ton of YouTube, bro. <laughs> like, I can't even begin to tell you, like, a certain. I like Evan probably knows because I'll catch myself on Squad Pods. <laughs> yeah. Uh, YouTube sometimes so Squad Pod's recommendations are beginning to be their lo-fi music, yeah, their lo-fi Pokemon music, it. and <laughs> weird videos that Vernon watches like about video games and stuff like that. Like you see it. I have and... seen it. I'd be like, what the hell is this? I didn't look on this. <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, Vernon's logged in on that too. But it's funny because you also see that like <laughs> The same stuff. I got like, back. What are you listening to? <laughs> well, what's funny is too, like, because I on my computer, Squad Pod, the, the Squad Pod YouTube's what's logged in on my phone. It's obviously my mine, but right when I'm doing on my, my computer, work, I'm doing you know like it, for school, I'll click on the YouTube links because it never loads on the actual. Because half of higher education's watching YouTube videos, by the way. Um, but by the way. <laughs> so anyway, so Vernon's probably going to end up seeing randomly here soon, just these random educational classes on <laughs> some shit that <laughs> it's so random, it's all good, man. but, but yeah, yeah I actually, I kind of wanted to look at something. So you guys, you guys said you never have your Wi-Fi on at home, right? Like you guys, said, do. oh, you do. Yeah, yeah. I keep that on. Oh, I, I don't. Like I was going to say, I knew it was one of you guys because you said you had unlimited data and you just never, yeah, never. It's not on yeah, right now. I, I would. I would normally have it off, but like there's a shitty reception here. This is my first month with unlimited data and I have not checked it yet. And I'm only about a week left. I'm actually kind of curious. I haven't looked. I want to see how much I've actually used since I've had unlimited data because I'm sure it's freaking absurd because all I do is just <laughs> run run stuff on there but why what are you into me um man in my spare time i've just been playing some assassin's creed valhalla to be <laughs> honest i've been fucking working my way through that game uh that and i've been fiddling around writing some new tunes in between oh uh, so i got pro tools now installed on the new laptop so hopefully oh. in my spare time i can actually start recording some new stuff again because i've actually been writing a lot of new stuff here lately um but other than that i've been just watching some tv in between we watched through seinfeld which i have actually <laughs> never watched seinfeld, seinfeld really so and funny. it was i was pleasantly surprised because so i never funny. was really into seinfeld but after watching through it man i i really enjoyed it it's so funny. I really there's did. a whole subreddit dedicated to writing stories in like as seinfeld episodes Oh, that man, doesn't surprise so me. It's, I've, I've stumbled across it and I've never watched Seinfeld personally. Like, I've seen episodes here and there, but never. Yeah, I same. never sat. That was the same but way. Apparently, it's big. Like, there's a lot of people that <laughs> read See, stuff. What in helped me, what helped me was, is I actually watched like Curb Your Enthusiasm like through a couple times before. And I mean, that's just like, when you look at it, it's really just a raunchy version of Seinfeld, mm-hmm. like how like how the like conversation is, like how like how he nitpicks on things and how like they come up with terms for different kinds of people. Um, Seinfeld is just a very it's, it's a sitcom, you know, but it's like it's very much like the same like kind of style of comedy, you know. Yeah. And that's kind of what made me get into it a lot more. 
pretty much is like because i was already kind of into it yeah um and i mean that that that's what helped me but i really enjoyed it i'm actually looking forward to watching through it again eventually seinfeld mm-hmm. just because like i actually it really i really enjoyed it i was surprised <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I, I get all the hype show. now i get all the hype because i remember like through the years like Bro, why do people watch Seinfeld? Like that shit looks so boring. <laughs> I've seen bits and pieces. Like that shit looks so Bro, boring. Like like Frasier. People like I'm sure people shit. love Frasier too. But like I never got into Frasier because it looked boring as shit. And like I never got it. But but now yeah. But now hey, don't judge a book by its cover, man. Nah, <laughs> yeah. Seinfeld is one of those shows you have to know the characters and the interactions to really get it. It's yeah. like it's like The Office. Like you take The Office and you take a very slim section of it and show it to a, a random stranger. And they're like, okay, this isn't yeah. that funny. But you know the characters. It's very funny. Unless you know? it's a CPR scene. Sure. Anyone will laugh at that no matter what. <laughs> <laughs> sure. That. <laughs> but, but, yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah I, that's I, pretty I much all. 26 doing. gigs of data. And that's not bad. That's not even that doesn't even sound like a lot. In a month, that's a lot. I don't know. I, I was stuck at six before, so I feel like this is I, good. We have eleven days left on our billing cycle, and we use we use twenty four. So, like together, I know I have. Oh, you like, use twenty four. I've used twenty four. I oh, don't. Wow. I can pull up what Wyatt used. <laughs> I, don't uh, I don't remember how to look at that shit. Bro. You just go into my sprint. <laughs> I can pull. I can pull up all your guys' stuff. Oh, uh, for real. Yeah, I can pull up everything. Alex has I can see your text messages if I wanted to, man. <laughs> Damn. That shit's all connected. That is true. Story. Actually, I noticed that. Like, That's I, I pretty can intrusive. Stuff. I don't. I don't like look at your text. Intrusive. <laughs> I just could if I needed to. Well, I'm just saying like that you could that even like you could, you know, like, damn. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You guys might I get it though for like the think that and, ban know. on Squad Pod Sports. Yeah. <laughs> but that's another thing. I, I, we've been working on, you know, it's like the podcast and squad mm-hmm. pod sports, you know, uh, with the network and everything, you know, so. Oh, yeah. Hopefully. I'm actually, that's like why I'm not as focused right now, because I'm I've been doing this in the background. <laughs> exactly. Like working on the sports episode. But like, well, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I heard. Oh, you no. Know, he, just like, exactly. <laughs> like, see, he's working on right now is like that's what <laughs> like we're focused on it, uh, especially now with the new computer. Hopefully I can start making some of these review videos. And getting them put out, so getting some more content out there. So, like 2021 is all about the pod and the brand. We oh, building yeah. the brand. About the brand. brand. That's Did we tell Alex brand. about our merch? Was he here for that? No, I don't think he was. Were you here, Alex? Were you here yeah, about our make first a merch t-shirt. idea? We'll make a T-shirt. Uh, you know, like the the, the cross with the gator and stuff on it. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And it's going to be your face from whenever you were in the Key West and you FaceTime. <laughs> and then you were like, I'm wearing Cody's shirt. I'm wearing and then Cody. you did the close up of your face. <laughs> we're going to put that close up of your face on the All shirt. Right. And, and then I, it's going to be on the back. I'm wearing it. It's just going to say, I'm wearing it. <laughs> I'm wearing it. <laughs> and it's wearing just going to be a replica of the shirt. That I still wear. have that shit. <laughs> yeah, we're I gonna need wear a, a copy podcast. of that, Ali or Alex. Yeah, no problem. It's sitting in my closet, I can see it from here. Can you scan wear... me a picture of that so that way I can use it for a reference? Or yeah, a man. Design? We're just gonna take all the funny <laughs> shit and just slap it on a t-shirt. But yeah, you're slap gonna be our it. first uh, piece of merch. Yeah, I'm, the I'm yeah, wearing be... shirt. I'm wearing. That's gonna be like for the real fans. That's gonna be some deep, <laughs> the deep, oh, deep some deep cuts, right. man. Some deep references there. They're going to go back. He's wearing. I'm wearing a shirt. (laughs) I'm wearing it. (laughs) What does that mean? And then they go back. I'm wearing it. I'm wearing it. (laughs) That's cool, though. That's a lot of. That's a wide range of things, though. That this is a wide range of things. That's 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 pretty literally everything that's going on right now. (laughs) (laughs) I've been reading a lot about that game we're playing too. Uh, You know what? I was really <laughs> digging that game. That I was reading a lot about it. it. I'm like, I got to figure this shit I out. Pretty cool. Let's go. Cool. I, I was there looking at uh, some of the class information, and I didn't realize I picked one of the hybrid classes that, uh, um, mm. like, each class, like, there's three classes that focus on, like, intellect, strength, and uh, dexterity. And then there's mm-hmm. three classes that focus on a mix between the two of them. 
which I didn't even mix. I mixed, uh, yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm all about um, intelligence, 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 intelligence. My class. Uh, when um, you guys got off, I bought all of the AOE abilities I could. So my class is just going to be nothing but just AOE, and I'm going to try to max out like anything that can give me damage or health back. So I'm just going to go in there and just smack things. <laughs> smash. That's it. <laughs> Evan smash. Um, speaking of video games, the thing I had to talk about how to deal with video games. Surprise. <laughs> um, and it's pretty much all the games that turn 10 years old. This oh. year, oh so, god! <laughs> yeah, yeah, so get ready to feel old. All right. Uh, uh, what the hell? The first one here is the first Dead Space came out ten years ago, and what a game that was! That was a pretty revolutionary game for us. I remember me and Alex being that, super scared in my room playing that game. <laughs> Dead Space, I really liked. I wish they would like remaster that game. I feel like it's due for like a remake or a remaster. Who made that? EA. Yeah, EA. I think. Well, they hmm. they at least published it. I don't know who made it. I forget who made it. Yeah, they might have been yeah. the, the developer also, but that's cool. That's cool. That was really. Good I game. feel like I personally thought that was a little bit older, but okay. Yeah, 2011. Uh, next one here is Marvel vs. Capcom Three. I don't know. Three. <laughs> yeah, Marvel vs. Capcom Three: Fate of Two Worlds. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's the only reaction you get. <laughs> that's all he could muster. Uh, I was like, two is uh, Pokemon Black and White. Is now <laughs> oh ten years old. Damn, that's ten years old. Dude, I believe I never, I never even played it. The franchise is like twenty five <laughs> years this year, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's crazy. Um, next one is Crisis Two. Uh, I, I played Crisis Two whatever, around Dude. the time. That wasn't that's, Crisis like a groundbreaking graphics related. First, yeah, like, the first one was yeah. Mm -hmm. It was like yeah, the first like the game to like game. really, really push a graphics yeah. card, like the current mm -hmm. graphics card. I think they even tried to do it with the second one too. Mm -hmm. like, yeah, the I think water, with every Crisis game they try to like yeah be the like water the effects thing. in it apparently were like. Like there's still good water effects to this day. Like still, when people see them, they're like, "Oh my god, these water like, effects how are amazing!" How the fuck did they do that? <laughs> yeah, man. Did they put water in this well, game? Real water? water? How do they do that? We're still trying to figure it out. <laughs> uh, the next one is Mortal Kombat, like the the remake game. Then oh, Mortal Kombat Nine, the hey, dude. I feel like... uh, that's the one that really like rejuvenated the franchise when it came out. Uh, and then since then, it's just been. You know, Mortal Kombat's like a huge whenever it releases. But yeah, that one released on April 19th, 2011. We, we old, man. I remember getting that like day one. Uh, Portal 2 is now 10 years old. Portal 2 is 10 years old. Portal 2, not even just Portal not just 1. Portal 2. Oh, we could play Portal 2. Yeah, I think me and Alex played Portal 2 a couple times. We did. We like the multiplayer. Two. We can't all play Portal 2. Oh, I mean, no, I, I'm saying I think me and you've played it before. No, I, yeah, I love Portal I'm 2. I'm pretty sure I have Portal 2 on Steam. It's either the first or the second one. I can't remember. I, I have the first one on Steam. Um, L.A. Noir is 10 years old. That was a really good game. I like that one. Speak maybe I should play that. Yeah, maybe I should play that again. <laughs> you probably should. While you're <laughs> in the mood. That's a really good game. Um, Bastion, that was like an indie game that came out I at the time. That's a good ending, yeah. man. That was a cool ending. I didn't I play it. I just remember the end. I didn't. I didn't play like the whole thing. <laughs> I didn't beat it. I just know the ending. Like <laughs> you're chasing. Like it the, in the game, it has like time. Like you can manipulate time a lot. Like that's mm -hmm. its like gimmick. And like the whole time, you're chasing this princess. And then what you learn at the end is is that you weren't trying to save her. Like you're the bad guy, and you're actually chasing her the oh. entire time. Oh. So like it like flips it in the end, and like you've been playing the game in reverse the entire time, where it looks like you're trying to save her, but really you've been fucking with her the entire time. Oh man, uh, uh, it was good. It was cool. Crazy. I remember that. Ooh. I might have to play that shit. <laughs> I didn't know I all spoiled, that. I spoiled the ending for you. You did, but that makes me like want to play it now and see what it's all about. Um, the next one is Catherine. I've never played that one. Apparently, that was like somewhat of a popular game. I know that's like is. an RPG, from what I understand. No, it's like a puzzle game. It's the one with the big. Is it? Chick, the big, oh yeah, it's like 
I, man, I know all those. I watch all those things on YouTube too about the video games. You like climb these <laughs> blocks and like you're cheating on your girl with two Catherines. I've never played it either, but I know exactly what it's about. <laughs> and like the game that. is like you climb these blocks and you have to move the blocks to climb them. I it's didn't like, know that. It's like a puzzle game. Well, Alex is our inside source on anyway on Catherine. I know the kind of those Dude, games. I, I might know all, all these video games, man. <laughs> um, Resistance Three. I know that was like a big Damn, game that dropped on the PS3. PS3 game, man. Yeah. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, that was a huge PS3 game. That might have been like a launch title with the PS3. Nah, yeah, no, I remember. And, speaking of launch titles, I remember playing Shadow. What is it called? Killzone Shadowfall. Because like that, that's all I owned. <laughs> I had NBA 2K14 and Killzone Shadowfall. For, you know, I remember just it looks like, real pretty. Loving, it looked awesome, but I was like, first of all, this is the first Killzone game I've played. <laughs> it's like, like I think one. it was number yeah. four. Yeah, yeah well, I think it was I've four. Any, like, <laughs> but go ahead. I'm sorry. Resistance 3 <laughs> launch title for the PS3. Yeah, but that's... No, it could have been if it was it 2010. Wasn't. It wasn't. It was the end of the life. Yeah. Oh, uh, was it? I thought... Yeah. I, I always thought Resistance was like... Resistance was a launch title. Uh, not Resistance gotcha. 3. Gotcha. Yeah, I don't yeah, think you gotta remember too. three Nathan Drake games came out on that thing too. Yeah, Dude, that's true. <laughs> yeah, they pumped them out every few years. Yeah. yeah. Resistance, Uncharted, uh, whatever you just said. The exclusives. Yeah. Shadow they were pumping. Killzone. Killzone, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Killzone. <laughs> there was three pumping. of them probably. Yeah, at least two. There's uh, four. This next one I didn't really play was Warhammer 40,000. I heard about it. Game. I remember yeah. hearing about that. That's an RTS. Um, the next one is Dark Souls. Is ten years old. I would think that's older. Man. Yeah, that actually does surprise me. I I feel like yeah. that would be older. I thought yeah, that was Dark older. Souls. Hmm. Um, it's ten years old. I'm guessing that's why they remade it and came out with the remake for PS5. Was yeah. ten year anniversary. 10 years. I'm I'm gonna buy that when I get my PS5 someday. Yeah. Goodbye. Um, soon I'm done with Valhalla. I'm, I'm getting <laughs> it. No. Speaking of PS5, do a blood. Bloodborne game again. That's what I want. You getting in the mix, Vernon? You getting in the mix? You uh-huh. getting in it? No. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> first of all, it's going to be hard to get in the first place. Like, I see how much you're struggling. Even <laughs> if I was trying to get a PS5 huh? right now, I'd be like, ah, I'm going crazy it's, about it's it. But anyway. It's infuriating. But anyway. <laughs> I'll is. get one eventually. I'd there. find one on the side of the room. Resident <laughs> Evil <laughs> 8. Call me. Uh-uh. Resident <laughs> Evil 8. Uh-uh. With this spooky, spooky bitch. I'm just uh-uh. like, this looks scary as hell. I was watching <laughs> the looks, trailer. It I looks watched, awesome. I'm watching this shit, and I'm just like, how? How do people play this? Yo, like, I watched I just, Wyatt I, play it. And maybe like, I'm nope. just, I'm I just it. like, oh my god. It's so, it just looks <laughs> like so like, spooky to be up. That little like 20 minute demo was really cool. If Dude, like, you watched, I watched the guy speed speed run watch that on Twitch. Oh, you, there was did a speed it in run? three minutes. Dude. Oh my gosh! I took my game. time and I like walked around and examined everything. <laughs> I wanted to like look at it everything. It looks like a really good game. It looks phenomenal, yeah. to be honest with you. But I I don't know if I'd have the balls <laughs> to play through the whole thing if it'd be worth me spending money on it. But eventually, whatever you know what I mean. But like yeah. I'm I'm thinking that I'm like man, this looks really cool. If if I buy a scary game. Like, I remember playing Resident Evil 5 with Alex, and that's Not what scary, got me though. back into Resident Evil. It wasn't scary. But, yeah. like, and then Resident <laughs> Evil 6 come around. We tried to play that. We were just like, this is kind of crazy, garbage. too, but it wasn't super scoop. Yeah. I need it, to, it we need to start the series where, like, I'm playing scary games while you're there, and we'll, like, switch <laughs> off. That's the series we were playing oh. on doing. All but, right. Like, when it gets too scary, that. what, you just hand it off? Well, yeah. either that or else you can just sit there and watch me play scary games if he wants. <laughs> That it's way he doesn't have to play. If I, watch, if I watch you, man. It is less scary if I watch. Well, that, yeah. Like, he can play as it. far as he wants. He can switch it off. I'll play, and then I'll give it back to him whenever he's right. comfortable. Get too intense. I'll play the other game, too. <laughs> that Visage game? Yeah. Dude, that shit. That's, like, scary for me, bro. Like, Resident <laughs> Evil and shit scary, don't really bother scary. me much. But, like, Alex. Visage, that shit scares me, bro. Look that <laughs> like, shit up on YouTube. Like, Alex and knows that I like I've, I played up games, but that game is scary. Alien Isolation ruins scary games it. for me. Like, 
The no. scariest thing about it is because there's just like no, there's not much the like theatrics to it. There's no music there's really. There's no rhyme or reason mm -hmm. to any of all it. it all <laughs> it is, you just in a house, and all you hear is the rain outside and nothing else. Even like when scary shit's happening, it's silent, and you just like see shit. Like I have an insanity I, meter, which yeah, kind of when you go in the dark off to when shit's about to go down. You yeah. Oh, I'm getting it's, goosebumps it's, thinking about it, bro. <laughs> Like, Bro, I've literally. been watching gameplays of that on YouTube. Speaking of what you're like, that has been one of the things I've been diving into. Is that <laughs> game specifically? It was like, like it was before we did a podcast one night, and I was playing it, and mm -hmm. I turned my webcam yeah. around, and Vern was watching me. I've been and, like, that kitty. I walked down a hallway, What's and there's a rocking chair. I just pet moving. that kitty. I'll pet the kitty. For you. <laughs> Bro, I watched past that part. Quiet. I watched. Uh -uh. I watched some gameplay of. Oh, I've been trying not to. Oh. But like, yeah, I saw we dude that open the chair. thing. <laughs> oh, yeah, I went up there too. After like, you went up there. Like, like, yeah, I went up uh, there. <laughs> but um, I like that was the craziest thing I saw at the point was the rocking chair. And then like, soon as I turned around, that I'm like, dude I was standing really right there. Too much. <laughs> and soon as I walked out, like when you looked down the stairs, or somebody standing there, and I was just like, what the fuck? Like, <laughs> I didn't it's like not that. Even never like happened. jump scares. It's like I didn't even do anything shit. different. It was like. Right. It was like when you played Slenderman, Slenderman popped up, but there's no music. There's no, like, you just would turn around, and he was just there. Dude, yeah. It's I, like, I remember. Like, I was, not even oh, my God. Scares. Like, there <laughs> are jump scares in the game, from what I understand. There are. But, like, there's genuine shit that's just, like, creepy and scary. Mm -hmm. Like, you'd be walking through a house, and, like, because you got to turn lights on so your sanity meter uh, doesn't, is level. Um, but, like, you'll be walking through, and just lights will turn off. As you're like walking around, you're like, wait, like, I left that on all purpose. Or the, or the TV will turn on, and when you're walking around, like some crazy shit, or something will slam, or a door will close. Uh, dude, it's wild. That's some crazy yeah. shit. And I know, like, I haven't even touched the surface. It's a long game, from what I understand. And I'm still like, like Hito Kojima, you and like turn your like turn your uh, TV off and shit, you know? Like, oh my gosh, no, wait until like, it gets. That your whole TV, that oh my god. god! And as so soon as you turn it back oh on, it like pops out. Something like that happens, yeah. Dude, could you me and Alex it? used to play. We would play Dead Space in pitch black. So yeah. imagine if they're like, they're you're in a pitch black room and you turn it like, oh, like you gotta fucking fiddle around and figure out how to turn your TV back on. So <laughs> Even if they like did an effect to make it look like your TV turned off, just to freak you out for a second. Yeah, man. Yeah. That would be. They just like just cut t cut the black, just, just yeah. nothing. Like have and that like little white line that goes like scary, and then that's yep. it, and then you, nothing, and then whatever happens. What TV? Don't even they get turn you to walk up. They get you to walk up close to it, and then yeah. boom, scary. <laughs> shit. It just like, like brings up like the PlayStation just long logo. Enough. Yeah, like five, yeah, six exactly. Seconds. It's gonna be like fifteen seconds or something where you're like, wait a minute, right. what's going on here? <laughs> no, because my my ass would just press the whole. My, I would press the PlayStation button like immediately. <laughs> I'd be like, nope, nope. <laughs> you know what I mean? Try to get that. And then like, oh man, turn the PlayStation. PlayStation. And then you come up and you're like, oh, not gonna get me. Not <laughs> nah, man, you gotta turn the controller off. You gotta turn everything off, man. Turn the like, controller off and the make the, yeah. that would freak me the fuck. I'm like, hell yeah, man. <laughs> like that, I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> turn on until it's done. Like that'd be wild. That brief That's couple something. seconds. They should do that. That's some revolutionary shit. I, he do could you? Know, I mean, he should think about hills. Think about even like uh, like back in when they did Metal Gear. I think there's a game called like Eternal Darkness for the GameCube, and you had like an insanity meter, and it would do shit like that. Like it would like glitch your TV, and like it would like it would start flicking through channels, like really? flicking through channels oh. on your TV. Like it wouldn't really do it, it but like like it's actually yeah. doing. And like it would, it would do all kinds of crazy shit. Like when your insanity yeah. meter went way, way up. It was like so. the original metal, like Metal Gear Solid, wherever, uh, like whenever you're doing the cheat with Psycho Manus, yeah. Whenever you switch the memory card, it like switched the like the screen changes to black. And you remember like on the old TVs where it would say video up in the corner, mm -hmm. or like a black screen with video, it would say Hideo for Hideo Kojima. Yeah, <laughs> and that's, then it would, like, and then it would cut back to the game. That's because why I said was... Kojima could do it, man. Because that's yeah, who exactly. would like. He could do like, that kind of shit. Mm -hmm. He knows. Maybe. What he's doing. Hopefully, he makes a horror game. That'd be cool. Uh, Him and uh, Guillermo del Toro. Did they make Death Stranded? Or was that not Guillermo? Uh, that was just Kojima. I mean, mm. uh, Del Toro was in it. Mm. 
I thought he was uh, part. Well, apparently, part of he's working on a horror project with them, so that'd be cool. Apparently, uh, like the, the dude that created the original Resident Evil, he's working on a new horror game. That'd be cool. If Del Toro is going to do a horror game, I just want him to do creature design. I don't want him to be part of the right. He, I don't really like Del Toro's writing, man. And I know that's like elitist of me, but it's just, it's yeah, fun. he's got great creature design. Great his creature. movies are some of his movies are all right. I really like Pan's Labyrinth. That's the one I, that stands out. I've never seen it, so that's and that's the one I've heard like is really like, oh my god, this is fantastic. Yeah, that's but, like, yeah, that's peak Guillermo del Toro. Yeah, I mean, that's Hell Boy's good, but Hell I mean, like, uh, Pan's Labyrinth actually has like a good story to it, and it's like got got heart. Yeah. I heard uh the last one he did was really good too. Uh, won a lot of awards. The one with like the creature from the Black Lagoon, like creature, <laughs> Shape of Water. It was called. Oh, um, yeah, I see. I, I saw heard, that one. It's not horror, but I heard it was really good. Pacific Rim's cool. <laughs> yeah, it was all right. <laughs> uh, but what else do you have to talk about? You got something else, didn't you? I think, I don't know. I think it's a good question. It's kind of, it's something that we've already talked about. And I, you kind of brought it up earlier. Um, I forget who mentioned something about it, but about villains. Um, I'm sorry but, to cut you off, Evan. I had a couple more. I, I thought I was done. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I was like, so, Evan, what else did you have to say? Oh, by the way, I looked at my phone. I say. looked at my phone, and like there was like three more, and I was like, oh, but they were like big ones. They were ones I actually wanted to talk about. <laughs> I'm sorry. We could talk like anyway. I didn't know if you want to go ahead. What? I'm sorry. I'll run through them really quick. No, 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 no. no. It's cool. It's cool. Um, Arkham City. That's ten years old. Oh, I wouldn't even think Arkham Asylum is ten years old. Yeah, Arkham City. Um, Uncharted Three is ten years old. So speaking of Uncharted, oh. that's three. Uh, ten years old. Uh, Elder Scrolls Skyrim, which has come out like five, that. Six, I can believe that. Ten years that old. I believe. <laughs> I think that's forty years old. <laughs> uh, Saints Row the Third. And yeah, that's it. But those are the last ones I had. But I just wanted to like Arkham City is the one yeah, that surprised me. Good. I didn't think yeah. that was ten years old. I didn't think that was ten years old either. I mean, I again it makes sense. We played it on Xbox and stuff. We are and done the with the light charging. cycle of PS4. Like it's it's over. The PS5's life cycle's begun. So like about seven years right there, even you know, yeah. if not more. La PS yeah. PlayStation's life cycle is about seven years. I don't know how long was the PS4's life cycle. Anybody know? Well, how old is GTA? From the time, so a year the time it GTA launched. Yeah. Oh yeah. I think yeah, it was 2013. I think is when it launched. So. Yeah. It couldn't have been. Oh, PS4. Yeah, yeah, yeah. PS4. Yeah. yeah. 2013. November. GTA. 2013. Yeah, because GTA PS5? 5 came out that year, I think. For PS3, I mean, is that what you meant, Alex? No, no, no. The PS4's lifespan. Okay. Not GTA 5. I'm just I just, wondering. No. So 2013 to 2020. We'll say 2021 just to give it you know, easy yeah, number there. Yeah. Eight years. Eight years. But yeah, that's that's a long time. I mean. That's an average life cycle. Yeah. Right? that's. Huh? I mean, if I feel like it was short. I mean, maybe it feels like it was shorter because I actually owned a PlayStation 4 throughout almost the entire I never oh, yeah, had a we, console for its whole life. I mean, this is the first. I feel like I've it had. felt long having it, but looking at like eight years mm-hmm. seems short. Like when you say well, like say it was only eight years, it sounds short. I mean, my yeah. I bought it with Destiny, like the original Destiny. I mean, that's me too. I mean, that's seven years old. I I can't I can't really think that Destiny's seven Back years old. We're rolling on Destiny. No, it's eight. It's got to be. Well, yeah, yeah, it's older than that. Yeah, because I bought it. You know, about a year I, after it, it came, came out. out so. with- well, I bought it too, and I didn't buy the PS4 a year for it because Vernon bought like a launch console, and I didn't have one much after him. I mean, um, maybe two months, if yeah. even. Yeah, the one I yeah. bought, yeah, it was the Destiny one, right but I bought back. mine about a year after it came yeah. out. So, yeah. So, it has Pretty to close, I got it though. in 2014. Um, it was mm. actually like that February. You know what I mean? Mm. But it was like right after, because I remember, I think I got it with like taxes or something. I was like, hey, I'm not yeah, I think <laughs> I got mine in about October <laughs> or so. It was something like that. October, November. It yeah, was like right before. I got mine after it was right before Call of Duty came out because that's why I played Destiny because I didn't have Call of Duty yet. So <laughs> that's why. Dude, that was yeah. that was the only time and the first time that I ever traded. I traded in every system, every game, everything <laughs> I owned, dude. 
traded I it all. I traded, I traded my, my Xbox, my PS3, all my games, and I don't think I'll do that. With the, I'm not going to trade the PS4, and like I'm just not. I did. It's, and you I'm keeping all my it. games. Too. You can use it for other things. And they don't. They don't want my PS4. <laughs> I'm going to keep it just because. Just I'm going to use it as a, a, a streaming box. A relic. You know what Roku. I mean? A big Roku. I mean, that's it's a big Roku. That's what mine's going to become, honestly. Yeah. That could play some video games. They could play <laughs> digital games. The, Listen, yeah, I still have the box version. under my bed. To be honest with you, mine's probably going to go in the box, go right under my bed. Mine's going to probably gonna stay gonna in go. our bedroom, and then the PlayStation 5 will be in the living room. I'm gonna I, just give it to Kai probably because like he's only got the Switch right now as far as like so I'll just give it to Kai whenever I get my PS5. Tyler yeah. has a, a PS4, I'd give it to him, but he doesn't have a Switch, so um but maybe I'd put it in my living room, but my TV downstairs is a smart TV, so I don't know what they do with it. Maybe I'll put it down in my living room and I'll put the VR down there and I'll just leave it down there. It's I just never... a Blu-ray player at that point. Yeah. <laughs> or yeah. like streaming device. Uh, maybe That's again maybe it's just a streaming device at that point. That That's what I'm gonna video do. Games. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put it down there and hook up my VR it down there. It'll into just be an Xbox. <laughs> it'll just be my VR machine. <laughs> so I mean, a streaming device that can play video games sometimes. Sometimes <laughs> the hell. If I got buddies over. Honestly, that's what my PlayStation does now. Half the time. It pretty much yeah, streams. Honest, that's all I have time for. It streams just music, movies, YouTube. TV, and then Monday nights I play video games. That's pretty much what I have to I play my Switch more than I play anything. So I'm excited for you guys to watch One Division, but like I know you're yeah, not I'll watching watch it right now. So I don't even know what like it's about. I so I'm kind uh, of a uh, Wanda and Vision. It's right in the title. It's <laughs> out there, bro. It's yeah, I heard it's there. wild. I'm pretty excited for I it. I am almost through the first yeah. season of Umbrella Academy, though, it. Alex. Uh, oh, it's so that's so I, good too, man. I got. Did you guys watch it? No, I didn't. Yeah, very good, man. I won't spoil anything, but I got to the scene with the violin thing mm. and i was not expecting that it went oh like, then you're real close wait in the cabin yes okay okay yeah you're real close All i right. was like you know i was like okay yeah another argument okay and then i'm like oh 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 <laughs> shit okay yeah, that was a big one it was great so it, i was interested already it, it's not like i wasn't interested but i think that's gonna yeah. be the moment where i'm like all right now yeah, I'm that is a great show. I yeah. highly recommend it for both of you, and I think both of you, yeah, have it too. it's on my list. I gotta watch it, man. It's only three seasons right now, I think. So, yeah, third I one's not even out. Oh, that, yeah, that's so. right. They just started filming that one, so they just started filming. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's been hard, the boys, yet either. Oh, that yeah, is, I was gonna uh, say that. I was gonna tell Evan to watch the oh, boys. Yeah, that's yeah. that's the other that's show. Next. I knew there was one, another Evan, superhero related super one. Good too. It's hard for me to get into a series like on my own to have the time because, like, whenever, like, me and Annette are the ones that like watch Seinfeld. Like all the these, you know, all these other like show. It. Yeah, Brittany yeah. likes Umbrella Academy. I mean, yeah, it, maybe it's, it's got a. It's not like a superhero superhero it's show. Not. It's actually less like a superhero show than any superhero show you've ever seen. Like yeah, great gotcha. music in it's it. More I saw of, like I know the premise of it. It sounds crazy. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's like a drama. If Professor X just trained the X Men to be, and then he didn't have any powers, and then yeah, but, <laughs> like, yeah, it's not. It's, they give them like actual human emotions, you know, like, <laughs> bro, I forget what night it was. It was I was just like, I I was looking for something to watch and I was just browsing through and I was I was on some vitamins <laughs> and I watched the first episode of uh, the the crown. I don't know oh, if you yeah. ever watched the yeah. crown. The Crown? I watched the first How episode of The Crown. Bro, I heard that shit was amazing. So I was like, bro, I, it has so much hype around The Crown. I'm going to start watching it. I watched the first episode, and like by the end, I'm just like, <laughs> I have no idea what the fuck is going on. <laughs> that is not like, my kind of TV at all. Bro, it's what's it about? Like, I, I don't think I've ever heard of it's this. It's literally like the Royal story Hyatt, of like, the oh, British really? monarchy. Yeah. Like, but it's, it's like, like real it's life. It's true. Yeah, and it's yeah, like, it's a, like, like the very like first a... episode is the actual queen when she was young getting mm. married and like oh. her becoming queen for the first time. And like the season they're on now is like with Princess Diana. Is it like shit. a drama? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, okay. it's a drama, but it's like it's a royal <laughs> drama, but it's like it's, it's fact. Royal it's, like it's a royal drama, it's a but it's like it's historical drama. shit. But like I knew there was a ton of hype and that was good, but I watched it and I was like. 
I don't know if I just wasn't in the right mind state, which probably was the right <laughs> choice. But like, I was watching it, and I was like, halfway through, I'm like, I got, I'm not gonna watch this. And I'm like, no, I'm gonna finish it, <laughs> see how I like it. But like, I don't know. I'm not into dramas like that, and that, and listen, I've never seen The Crown, so I don't know. But it's just something like, I'm sure Grey's Anatomy is a great show. It's not for me. I I yeah. will not enjoy Grey's Anatomy. I know if oh, I start yeah, I it, I won't that. like it. But it's because it's like it's so dramatic. It's drama you know? for the sake of yeah. drama. It's not. Yeah, and I just yeah. Well, just I mean, it wasn't me. super dramatic. The stuff I saw, it was just more like a lot of politics and shit. Like it was like, like Winston Churchill was like just got elected for the second time, and it was like it had to had to do with that. Like John Lithgow played fucking Winston Churchill in it, which is kind of cool. I feel like, and then it has rough. like like watching something like that because you know there's going to be parts where they kind of play up a little bit to make it more interesting like, i had to do some over. research just to watch this bitch dude <laughs> yeah yeah you <laughs> did homework I, no. I had to do uh, homework no, no. I, was, I had to be like who's this who's this and who's this so i like no. i literally just had I to look it up re- like who's all right Winston who's this person who's this person and this person so i know who to follow well so i know who just, Winston Churchill was. he, he I'm read saying, the story of what's about to happen he just spoiled it for himself no no no, he read no, a no. Synopsis. i didn't do that i wanted to look at who the characters were <laughs> like i needed to know because like you don't really find out until they're eventually like oh so and so Elizabeth, like I wanted to know who they were going into it. So I was like, okay, I could point out this is Queen Elizabeth. Bruh. This is like the king. You know, like, some high schooler is learning about that right now, and they're just like, whoa, spoilers! Like their teachers <laughs> going over it. Like I'm watching it's, the it's Crown. Not many years old now. They but, moved on yeah, to Bridgerton. The high I school. I don't know. Crown. It's not something I can see myself <laughs> maybe going back to, but not re- not anytime soon. It yeah. was. Maybe if I'm bored one night, boom, go back to it, try it again. It, but the same with um House of Cards. I wanted to watch House of Cards. I watched the first like two episodes and I was like, nah, this ain't well, for me. I've man. done that with Lost multiple times. I started <laughs> yeah. watching Lost and See? I'm just like, nah, I turn it off. Not for me. Not for me. Right. I, I get it. Lost uh, is good. I did it with, and this is kind of blasphemous, and I want to get back into it, but I watched like the first eight episodes of Narcos. Got out of it and then never went back. Have never gone back to Narcos. So didn't see the end. Oh man, I yeah. loved Narcos. I only watched the first two Narcos seasons. Narcos was awesome. Escobar. Yeah, listen, the first I, two seasons. I was awesome. into it and I watched it on a plane ride and then the plane <laughs> ride back and then I watched it when I got home and then I don't know. I just got out of it for some reason and I just have no desire to go back. I think it was one of those things where I just ended on a perfect moment where I had there was no cliffhanger. There was like <laughs> I'm good. Like. He yeah. just escaped the prison that he that he built himself. <laughs> like and like, okay. I'm just like, all right, that's you like haven't a good finished rap. the story, man. Show just I ended for hours. Doesn't end there. That was just part one. I know. I know. I'm just. It's. I don't know, man. You ever do that? Like stop in mid episode or something, and there's just nothing to like bring you back. I've stopped you know? in movies. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not finishing this. Shit. I ain't going it back. For movie, good reason. <laughs> yeah, I'm just just not going back. I am. I, well, it, yo. One of my favorite, I'm sorry, one of my favorite franchises, and it's not even one of my favorite anymore because of the direction they took, but like Fast and the Furious, it's number seven, I think. What, wait, what's, what's number <laughs> Fast Five? <laughs> you can't even remember which one it is. The Fast. Yeah, because I never saw Fate of the Furious. That's the eighth one. I was trying <laughs> to think of the fucking names that they come up with. Fate. So whatever seven was called when yeah. he was running away from the submarine. He's running away from a nuclear submarine <laughs> in his Mustang or whatever the hell his muscle car is. Through the ice. I turned it off. I was like, you know what? This I'm, is it. I'm good. Jump the shark. And I'm, I'm, hey, almost jump, literally. I've jump the submarine. Them since the beginning. I've loved them all. Like, you guys know this, but like, that's one movie that I, I could think of recently that I just, you know what? I'm turning this shit off. <laughs> I'm not, I don't even know how it ends. I did watch Hobbs and Shaw though, but I haven't seen the last two Fast and Furious. I didn't see eight, and I didn't see Hobbs and Shaw. I I didn't finish seven. Only reason I, I watched Hobbs and I, Shaw I, is because I love The Rock and I love Jason Statham and I love Idris Elba. Like I love all three of those actors. Is it a good movie? It's not a good Fast and the Furious movie. It's a good superhero movie because that's right. what it is. I don't give a shit what anybody wants to call it. That's a goddamn <laughs> yeah. superhero movie. It looks like a superhero movie. It is like they all, they're all superhero movies. They all like that beam. He literally <laughs> says, I'm the black super Superman. <laughs> like, well, yeah, he is. Like, anyways. Um, but I actually watched 
rampage with the rock the other day too just because I, I like <laughs> oh, yeah <laughs> it wasn't that bad dude honestly like it could have been worse i enjoyed it like it gives you exactly what you want in the end. Yeah, I wanted to see three monsters. <laughs> Did you monsters. watch Skyscraper, though? No, I didn't watch Skyscraper. I Sorry. Didn't. See? Watch Rampage, man. It's on, I I it's on Amazon. It. It's I not like that bad. It's not that bad. Speaking of stuff like Rampage, that, that, Kong, that Godzilla vs. Kong trailer came out since it's the last amazing. podcast. That it shit looks, looks pretty wild, man. I it think looks it looks pretty great. interesting. I'm going to catch Godzilla up Godzilla be the bad guy. But he yeah, out man, for so shit. long. He's gonna and have about it, a oh. thorn in his foot, and that's why he's so pissed off. He's like, just stepped on like <laughs> an antenna or some shit stuck in his foot, or I don't. Know. <laughs> that's probably <laughs> Kyrie's favorite movie franchise oh, over yeah. like Star Wars, over Marvel, over everything. He loves Godzilla. Godzilla. Over- they're awesome. Yeah, I watched. I rewatched so, the the King and the Monsters over the, the summer, them, and it was it was great, man. Like a hundred fifty like, million times. Like think about your children and what movies are their favorites, and you put it. That's the one that he like. <laughs> either one of them plus Kong. Oh yeah, like, I would watch Kong. Kong Kong's then, my favorite sort of, like, the trilogy. All three of those. We, I've seen he King of the Monsters is his favorite. And yeah, I think because I of Ghidorah that. and everything. Yeah, and there's just, a lot of monster fighting. In he that. loves that. He he loves it. So I've seen that one probably the most, but Kong and the original, the original. He, what's it? 2014, I think. It's just Something Godzilla. Like that. Yeah, he refers I think that to Kong it by the year that it came out. Kong or yeah, Kong? I think yeah. Kong Skull Island was probably like the the best movie it's out the best of all of them. Movie. Like it seemed yeah. like it was but, the best put together. But yeah, the best definitely. monster films definitely King of the Like if you want to watch big oh, monsters yeah. throw each other around, I would say definitely. that one's probably like my favorite out of it's it. It's the most because, entertaining. Like, it's, yeah. yeah. All right, but I gotta Kong, go though. Oh, oh so, all right, man. Sorry, I didn't mean to catch you guys off, but I'm out of here. Peace out, I'm guys. Probably Peace, not gonna be able too much longer either, man. I was up super early this morning. Peace. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> See you, man. Um, but yeah, man. Did you uh the other thing? I started watching a show called Raised by Wolves on HBO Max a while ago. We got like five episodes in. Nope. Can't no. do it. <laughs> can't do it. It was just like, it was a oh. really Scott show. On, and it was just like too sci-fi and too weird. And I was like, nah, I can't do it, man. <laughs> no, I can't do it. Won't do it. I'm sad to say that right now, I mean, that show for me is Parks and Rec. And I know I'm going to, I know I would like it if I watched through it. But I just, I started it. I got through half of season two. Something came up. I don't even know why we stopped watching it. And just there's there has been nothing to be like, let's watch it. Like, let's get back into it. We just Bro, haven't. That's, Actually, I would say that about season one of it. That's a I know, show it's just, that just like The Office. I know. Like, I, once you know all the characters. Oh, yeah. Season three. And like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. It gets and, so good. And with Parks, it actually is like, even though I how much I love The Office, like that's one of my favorite shows. Mm-hmm. Like there is a slight, there is the de- decline there towards the end. Yeah. Where Parks and Rec, I feel, is pretty much great the whole way through. Like yeah. other than the first season's a little rough. Opinion. But yeah, but yeah. My unpopular opinion of the group is I like Parks more than The Office. Yeah, I mean I understand it. I understand <laughs> a lot. Just say yeah. I know how much y'all I love them both. I, I like Parks more. And that's probably only because, and this is probably blasphemy to you guys too. I've never seen every single episode of The Office. I've never, <laughs> yeah. I've seen a ton of them, oh. but I've never watched through all of them. I, but I've I watched with, through every single episode of Rec. You know, oh, man. I think with Parks, it's like, I do love Parks. I think it's a lot like, I don't want to say without sounding sounding weird, but like I think it's goofier. I think it's yeah. like they uh, can do a lot. They can do a lot more with what they have. It's not like it's in the office the yeah. whole time. It's literally they're out in Pawnee doing they a bunch to, of random shit every episode. And there's a bunch of like, clubs. And shit. There's yeah, a little bit more exactly. of a world, probably. Yeah, yeah. there's a whole world that they're exploring. Actually. And not only that, there's so many damn characters that you know <laughs> throughout is. the whole series. Like you know all the characters in the office. But like there's small characters in parks that show up throughout the whole series that, you know, 
like, like the twins. <laughs> yeah, and like there's a whole the town that you pretty much know by the end of the series. Oh god! And like that's what's great about Parks. I agree though. I I totally understand why people like Parks more than The Office though. I totally I'm not get saying it. it's better. I just think yeah. I think it's I I like yeah. it more. I love like, them both about the same. Cause I've I've watched them both numerous times. Yeah. But like yeah, I love them, man. I'm completely I'm biased, totally so I can't yeah. say anything. I haven't seen Parks and Rec the whole way through. I I know I I'd say like, like keep keep at it, man. I think you I think you and Brittany will really I mean, like we it. We just we always have so many shows we want to watch, and yeah, it just it never gets picked. <laughs> it's never the one that we pick up. I understand. I mean, yeah. That's, I felt the I same think, way with Seinfeld, dude. I started watching Seinfeld and I was like not about it for like the first season or so. And then I started getting into it. Mm-hmm. Like the characters, how they how they are. We like, I'm gonna yeah. Say like episode <laughs> one hundred and twelve of Squad Pod is whenever Evan's like, you know what, guys? Started watching Parks and Rec the other day. <laughs> One hundred and twelve. To watch. That is a good. That's just pretty good, man. What? 80, 80 or no? Ninety-two weeks from now. That's a year and a half. <laughs> Actually, that's no, pretty realistic. Eight, Eighty-two weeks. That's pretty. Realistic. Eighty-two weeks from now. That's what I'm saying. Like that's a pretty long time from now. <laughs> man, it just be. It's tough with like with school and stuff. Like I said, I can't watch something because then i totally i just don't want to do anything Uh, i'll start something and then i hear something going on in the background and i'm like i'm going to just sit here and watch this and then get a bowl of ice cream i'm not going to do what i'm supposed (laughs) to do yeah but like that's that's one reason why i don't think we have we haven't watched like um it's always sunny because it's like 14 seasons right or it's yeah it's the longest running (laughs) live action like TV show like sitcom. But once you like start that. watching that shit, yeah, I know that's you're gonna be like, oh my god! The I wish best was- thing about Sunny is even though it maybe seem daunting, how many seasons? It's quality the whole way, bro. You're <laughs> yeah. not getting like really that any bad. There's season no filler episodes. episodes. Yeah, you're getting great content each episode <laughs> with with that and there's no warm-up season like the office no and parks and rec no dude i think even the first season of sunny no, is great like this is the first episode the gang gets racist yeah exactly <laughs> oh God, first no. episode the, gang gets racist. <laughs> the first episode the first episode like off the bat like it starts off crazy and then i think like that second one or third one's like charlie gets cancer oh <laughs> and like i, I just when he's faking cancer Oh yeah, oh my and God. like I just remember like Dennis comes over to, like borrow a football and like he finds out Charlie has cancer and like Charlie wants to sit there and talk about it and he's like yeah but I, I kind of got Mac waiting outside man <laughs> I know it's like just I know that football. I just kind of needed the football <laughs> <laughs> oh he's like oh I'm sorry but it's it just gets like even crazier crazier from there once danny devito comes into play too Mm -hmm. (laughs) frank yeah so it's like definitely watch that even watch like when you get the chance watch curb when you get the chance because that show is hilarious it's just smart writing and all it is is just each episode larry david pissing off new people that's all it is (laughs) and he's just like doesn't mean to this is how he is (laughs) he has like Everybody is like way over dramatic, pretty much yeah. in each episode. They are so easily offended by everything, small little things. And that's what's hilarious about it, dude. Like, you know, he's going to piss somebody off each episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's just, there's so much, so much that I'd like to watch, but we'll get to it. Yeah. Like I said, would you say, Vernon, 100 and what episode? 112. 112. All right. I think I could do that. You watch the parks by then. Tell you what, if we Just haven't, I'll make it a commitment. <laughs> if we haven't watched it by episode 112, I'll be like, you know what? We'll pick back up on it. And I'll remember that because of Tom Brady. <laughs> 112. <laughs> There's, only one number 12. There's only one There's number only 12. There's only one number 12. <laughs> <laughs> one number 12. <laughs> <laughs> Screw all those other guys. <laughs> Aaron Rodgers. Is Aaron Rodgers 12? <laughs> Whack. <laughs> oh my god. What's the Andrew Luck? Whack. Whack. 
here. Since uh, Alex is gone, we could talk about this, but uh, HBO's announced that there's like two Game of Thrones uh, projects in the works other than the one that's the, the House of the Dragon that's coming out I next know, year. I know they said about wanting to do them, but I didn't know yeah. if they were still moving forward with, with a lot of them. Yeah. Apparently, the one that was just announced is they're probably doing the Duncan Egg storyline. Okay, which that is would be about like mm-hmm. Aegon Targaryen when he was young. Mm-hmm. And uh, apparently, they're making an animated series for Ooh, Netflix yeah. as well that was announced. I that would that. be cool. And, yeah. So I, I hope not, they just like, animate HBO, the real. But they're, the, the real people version. at Castlevania are thinking, I think, are making this one. I but, think like, Robert's Rebellion would be a good animated series. I feel yeah. like it would be, you know, if they did that with the, um, like the live action, then you'd have, you'd have like kind of the, you'd have overlap of characters, obviously. And, you know, if some characters didn't want to come back and stuff. It would be a little, they should do it. Odd. Bring a back. Robert bring that- Baratheon bring- or <laughs> yeah. Robert's rebellion as an animated series. That'd be cool. I think. Yeah. Cause I think they I should think do that. Animated. I mean, they could just do it. They could do anything. They Literally. Should do it all. They could do, yeah, they do, they would do it. Any- they don't do have to worry all. about the budget. Just do it all. I think, I don't know. I think it would be cool to see that as an animated series because that would kind of just leave the show as its own thing. And then either that or like the long night or some shit. Yeah. Like actually tell like the story of the long night with like the White Walkers. The, and sh- the like more the original... mystical stuff should be animated because you can get animated. away with more. You don't have to deal with the CG. I mean, yeah. yeah, it's cool and stuff, but you know, yeah, it'll, it'll, I don't want to say come to life more. That doesn't make sense if it's animated, but. It, right. I understand. What I know. What yeah. you mean. It'll look better because well, when, I mean, when he's writing better, the book, he's probably not he writing it as like, what would this look like if it were actually in real life? Like, you know, it's a fantasy book, yeah. you know, so he even said about, like, this that's the, the best thing about the book <laughs> is like literally it's whatever he wants to do. Mm-hmm. Pretty much. He never thought that Game of Thrones would be able to be a TV show because he never thought they'd be able to do it right. Which see that's they what did for the most part. But. That like now <laughs> he's got still two books to write. Who knows where Winds of Winter is at? I haven't even seen a status report. In that was months. supposed to come out like last year. That was supposed to come out like it was supposed to last come out decade. like three or four years ago. <laughs> but last decade now, last he, one came out in like 2011, dude. You know, and, and ten years ago, he can say whatever he wants, but you know that he knows the, how the reaction of the ending of the show was and he's definitely gonna yeah he definitely may not say he he's wrote, gonna change shit but come he's on. gonna change stuff he's gonna change something. even stuff if he around. doesn't change the outcome he's gonna change how it how it things happen i mean yeah that's just how writing works you know you're gonna think of something that's better and you're gonna write it like that i'm down any game of thrones content that they want to put out because i'm down to watch any of that shit if it's half as good as like what the main series was mm-hmm. hell yeah I am down because <laughs> Game of Thrones, oh, yeah. even though like that last season was meh. Yeah. It's still one of my top favorite shows of like all time. It's that still my is... top. It's not my top, but it's in the top. Yeah. <laughs> I'm waiting. Quite. I'm going to give it quite a while. So I haven't watched it since the end of season. Yeah. Eight. <laughs> <I'm Never. laughs> gonna, I haven't watched it since the end, since it ended. I haven't watched a bit of it. No, nope. I'm going to give it some time. And then eventually I'm gonna dive into it. And watch then it. you're gonna hear that, and you're gonna be like, like, "Yes, yeah. yes." Uh, I love. Oh. <laughs> and that's then at the end, song like, that... "You sons of bitches!" <laughs> they did it to you're me. Get on free folk. And... They're gonna start <laughs> pulling the dragon out of the <laughs> ice, and why it's gonna be like, "I got a bad feeling about this." <laughs> <laughs> it's starting to get weird. <laughs> Start to get really they just gotta weird. make sure that if they anybody they're getting to do these shows that they're gonna be around for the log haul. Yeah. <laughs> Lock them down. <laughs> yeah, so I don't want to repeat. Yeah, it, that's just a, it's a shame. I can't talk about Game of Thrones with anyone. Any any time it comes up, I just my first reaction is just like <sighs> that last season. It just it's so, no. It's it was good. I that's a theme song. There's that bits was and like, pieces of it that were good. Yeah, like there the, it wasn't all bad. I I don't even think the content was bad. I just think there needed to be more of it. There was yeah. There wasn't enough content to fill. I I still just think how do you have 
six seasons of build up and then 13 episodes to, you know, the last two seasons to conclude everything. It just doesn't make sense. Like it they, doesn't. they needed yeah. another A short full season. Seasons. Yeah. Why, why wouldn't you take the full? Oh, nope. I'm done. Yeah. I'm I done. mean, even George <laughs> Martin said that they should have been like 10 seasons or 11 seasons. HBO so, like, offered them. They said they yeah. could have it. Assholes. They should have just been like, get somebody else to like continue it. Just like if they didn't want to do it, don't do it. You have some of the best but, actors I mean, and writers and everything like no, under your belt. Wrap it up. I yeah, remember we could like, do it. We don't, even, we don't need it. Even in that last season, like even though how like mediocre whatever it is, even that long night episode, I remember like me and Vern watched it like because we went and saw the premiere of Endgame that night or like I think it was Endgame. And then, like, we came back, yeah. wooden spoilers. It was late as shit, and we watched <laughs> it. And I remember getting chills, like, when they're sitting there, like, yeah. waiting for, like, them to come through the darkness, bro. Oh, my God. And then all you see is it just a wave of just yep. dead pilot on people. And I just remember just, like, what is going on right now? <laughs> just <laughs> like, think of, like, everybody's going to die in this episode. Everybody's going to die. Every single person. And yeah. then... And then they did... What happened, happened. <laughs> <laughs> Which was, like, at the that... time, it was, like... That was pretty crazy. That was badass. Like, Arya, Arya killed the Night King. Yeah. And looking yeah, back, it's kind of like, yeah, like. Arya killed the Night King. You know, King. Arya killed I'm, the Night I'm King. I'm not even <laughs> mad at that. I'm not even <laughs> yeah. mad at that. But, like, we didn't even get a John versus the Night King. Not even a fight. Right. Not even. How you gonna have them stare each not other even down a sword fight. five different times throughout like, the like, series? I think it would have been clever if they did have like, yeah, John and the Night King and then Arya then comes out and kills him yeah. as a sneak attack. At the end, oh, like, after they like, fought. Maybe he's about to like slay John, we you know, like he's down out for of the a count. Dope battle. Yeah. How do you we not have out of a dope battle? And how we got cheated. How is Cersei the final boss? How how, <laughs> how is it not the Night King? How did they go yeah. from all right, well, we killed the mystical ice demon. Now let's go get the queen. Like the real queen. Now think. get the queen. This is the like, real problem we've been facing, not the undead army. I think it's just because that would have been like. I think the way that happened is because like they needed. I think Daenerys is going to be like she's going to turn regardless. Yeah. I think in the book she's turning, but I think it's going to happen whenever she burns King's Landing down. Yeah, regardless. So I think that's why they saved her for last. Because I like you're going to need them dragons and her for the the yeah. long night type. But so like even they Cersei, could have did it differently, dude. Even Daenerys turning, I don't care about that. Like I think it was all fine. It's just yeah. we didn't get enough time from when she was fine till she snapped. It was we like got, two episodes. It was like we got robbed of a dope Cersei death too. By the way, rocks. <laughs> yeah, rocks. Boulders. It could have been Jamie. It could have been Arya looking like Jamie. It could have yeah. been Tyrion. It was I was rocks. prepared for all of that. I was, was prepared rocks. for any of that. I was for some like hardcore game with throat throat fans already thought of it. But like the Aria real theory was Jamie's Aria face or something. Where exactly? Yeah. I was prepared for that. Mm -hmm. But like, like you could have had that same scene except right before like hip like pull the mask off and Arya or whatever, and that like that would have been badass. They should have did that. Yeah, because like, then Jamie could have died with like Euron. And then Arya could have been like, oh, I'm going to take that face. <laughs> and you could have still sent, could have oh, still sent John face. back to the Night's Watch at the very end. I'm fine we with didn't that have to, You didn't have to do it like, all right, we're going to send him back to appease the the soldiers. But they're just going to fuck off anyway. They're yeah. not even going <laughs> to. They're going to go to Butterfly <laughs> Island and die anyway. <laughs> yeah. But like the Unsullied, they're like, yeah, we'll send him back to the wall to like he killed your queen, whatever. And then it's like, all right, peace. Bye. We're not going to stay here. Westeros. <laughs> Bye. Up. And we're like, Bye. all right, John. Hope you stay on that wall now. You don't have to don't... go to the wall. You can, you can stay here. They left. No. Like, no, I, I belong to the wall, which I get it. Yeah. It fits John's story, but they could have, once again, did it a little better, I feel. Yeah, and what's with uh, the Dothraki respawning the next episode? They all died. <laughs> they were like yeah. right at the front, and they just all came and back. And Bran becoming king. What the fuck, man? Oh, <laughs> doesn't make any I, sense. I can't, I can't be Lord of the North. I'm, I'm the Three Eyed Raven, but I'll be king. Sure, yeah, I'll, I'll take that. Yeah, <laughs> I, I'm not supposed to hold any king? titles or land. But king? She... Well, maybe. Why I'm do you like, think king? I came all this way? Like, motherfucker, do you really just say that? 
You really Did just you say really that? just say that? You want me to slap you right now? Did you really just say Don, that? Don should have stabbed his ass right there. I can't <laughs> hold you twice. Wait, wait. You said that's send me mean. to the wall. That's a, you go to the wall. <laughs> Wheel your I ass go. to the wall. I think I'm going to hop off, though. Yeah, that's All a right. great way to end it. Yeah, that was our Game of Thrones rant since Alex left. <laughs> yeah. That's what you get for leaving, Alex. We talk about Game of Thrones for... We should minutes. do like since we're going to be doing a review, we should do like a Game of Thrones series review or something. Should I'd be so we could do it per season. Do that. Yeah, I was going to say instead, like instead of having one long video, we could just do like by season type shit. We can talk right. about it after we're done here. Well, I mean, I yeah, we'll have to do it sometime. Yeah, oh yeah, I don't mean like we don't have to talk. Like we don't, we won't do it when we're done here. But yeah, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I, I totally got you. That'd be yeah. cool. So next week is the third. So next week we'll still have one more episode until the Super Bowl live stream. But um, yeah. yeah, yeah, just so anyone watching another episode of Squad Pod Sports too. Yeah, Squad Pod Sports was well, what came out yesterday. Yeah, so yeah, you guys, I'm sure we'll talk about that. But yeah, we're definitely going to be live streaming the Super Bowl. Not live streaming the oh. Super Bowl. We're going to be no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Watch along, CBS. Watch if you're along watching, we're not doing us. that. We're not live streaming the Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> we, Dana White. Dana we, White, don't yeah. come after us. We're He's not like, to come live after you twice. fuckers. We will be live streaming ourselves, commentating yeah. on what's happening at the Super Bowl at the time with no audio or visuals of the Super Bowl. Yes. yes. Maybe school. You can't even We're say just, Super Bowl. It's a watch along no. live stream. You can it's watch the it game. with us. Refer to it. Refer to it as the big game. The big game, okay. the big game. on Sunday. The it's 7th. the big game. But yeah, exactly. so we'll be we'll be live streaming that on the seventh. Obviously, probably starting around six ish, just to get warmed yeah, up and, a little before it starts. Yeah, get it set up, get everything rolling. But until like throughout the game, we'll have people drop in and out. Some some guests, you know, talk about the game, talk about the season, you know. Um, so I mean that that's something to look forward to. I'm really excited. It'll be our like our first live stream that we do. Oh yeah. Um, so, I mean, hopefully that's something we can build off of, like maybe do like the NFL draft, have that like live stream, like our like the top 10 or mm-hmm. like the first round, at least something like that. Or we'll like even just do doing like our, our fantasy draft, do that live stream next year. We did that last year. Yeah, we did. Yeah, but I don't think we live streamed it, did we? No, I don't think we did. I think you're right. I don't think we live streamed it. Yeah, I it. think we just recorded it and put yeah. it up. Okay. But yeah, we definitely do that. Um, but that's something to look forward to. Make sure to follow on on Twitter, uh, both Squad Pod Sports and Squad Pod uh, YT. I think that's what it yeah. is, right? Yeah, they're in the, everything's uh, down in the description. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And check out <laughs> our, our weekly shows, man. And make sure to like and subscribe. Yeah, like and subscribe uh, if you're listening. Check out the YouTube channel if you're watching. Check out the audio versions. Um, uh, we're streaming on Mondays. Um, I'm going to be streaming our Squad Nights on here on YouTube, Wyatt streaming on twitch so pick your yep. poison whatever you prefer that's what it is <laughs> yep. so <laughs> exactly so yeah, yeah. That'd be, that's what we got planned hopefully have some more content put out here within the next couple of weeks as far as like little shorter videos i'm gonna start getting started on those why here. it was the final one of us to get a new computer so yeah it had to now be done, indoctrined yeah. needed to be done and now <laughs> the work begins <laughs> so uh See you next week, everybody. That was a that was a good episode. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Thanks for Take watching. care. Thanks for watching. Oh.